just right. He does. That's that was so awesome. funny. Thanks for watching Blimey Cow. This episode is sponsored by Unbound and made possible by viewers like you. It's always fun to laugh. It is always fun to cry when you're laughing, crying, laughing. Let's get to the Christian memes. Bath time, Jesus. Wait till he gets it. Wait till he oh, gets oh, it. Oh, he got it. <laughs> when you try to work out and remember that in heaven we will be given new bodies. How do you feel about that meme, Jordan? No, yeah. it's fake news. <laughs> God will say, You are lazy. You will have a version of your body that you <laughs> what you Maybe you get an extreme version of whatever <laughs> your yeah. workout level was <laughs> and your fitness level. Did you guys know there's a your mom joke in the Bible? It's in 2 Kings 9.22 and it says, When Doram saw Jehu, he asked, Do you come in peace, Jehu? And he answered, what peace can there be as long as there's so much prostitution and witchcraft from your mom? <laughs> Boom. Roasted. From your mom. <laughs> <laughs> the Holy Ghost will make you delete that paragraph and just respond, okay. <laughs> I have a great business opportunity for you, Israelites. Um, how is this not a pyramid? <laughs> when you get to heaven and see Adam and Eve. Hmm. You know, this is one thing I was thinking. We should make a video on this. So, you know, on this channel, we always blame the parents. Yeah, it sure. seems, you know, whenever something terrible is happening yes. with the child, especially on messages. Well, you know, you read the Bible, like, Adam and Eve, God's children, and they really messed up, Josh. So, what was that, what's that say about God? What'd he do? What was his problem? Wow. Uh... What's the difference? Explain to me the difference. That must mean that what we're saying isn't always true. Captain's <laughs> <laughs> long day, 39. Roasted unicorn is delicious. Um, you know, people think that the arc was circular. Somebody just had this big epiphany. It was like this big article that I read. Like stadium that. seating. You could all just sit in there. It, they were watching the watch, Titans lose. Watch the Titans lose. This will go out a few days after the game. The game hasn't been played yet, but uh, nice, nice prophecy if they end up losing that game. When you ask your wife if she's ready for church, but she hasn't finished blending her makeup. <laughs> <laughs> the congregation's appreciation for the worship leaders, but then the sound team. Huh? Oh, 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 I In see. the background. Yes. Isn't this uh, yeah, Zach Sparrow's wife? Uh, ex-wife, yes. Ex-wife. When God tells me he didn't find my meme show. <laughs> Did she lose her case? She lost, uh, e on most counts, I think. I didn't super follow it, but yeah, I think she ended okay. up kind of the loser of that exchange. Okay, interesting. Interesting in this time, this day and age. <laughs> interesting. When you're an introvert and your church friends don't invite you to get food after church, one to two hurts just a little. <laughs> <laughs> PSA, it's getting hot and close to summer, so beware of all the snakes out there. Here's some examples of what to look out for. Snake, snake, snake. Come over, parents are home. The snake. <laughs> <laughs> Just right. He does. That's that was so awesome. funny. When you're going through a difficult time and someone says, you just need to pray about it. My goodness, what an idea. Why did I think of that? <laughs> Thou shalt not try me, Bob 24-7. 24-7. Wow. <laughs> Baby pictures, Adam and Eve, dust and ribs. Baby pictures, is that what it said? Yeah. <laughs> did it just strike you? Did you get it? It did. I thought I was I, I thought I was smart, that I knew that was supposed to be dust and a rib, and then I was like, wow, I'm pretty smart. And then I was like, wait, what was the meaning? I figured out what the pictures were. <laughs> <laughs> I figured out George what is just looking for the bare the, minimum. Here. The pictures, hey, right? I, I understood the reference. That's dirt and a rib. <laughs> when you're 10 dings, 20 ups, 6 wows, and 8 man nuts crazies, and they still won't stop talking. <laughs> Jordan, we got some spicy ones over on supportblimeycow.com. All right. I, these memes have been a little spicy. Things Jordan has said today has. They've been spicy yeah, too. Yeah, got a couple of hot takes. But guys, before we get into that, let me ask you a question. 
Are you still trying to figure out what you should do this fall? Believe it or not, you still have time to adjust your plans. Whether you're in high school or recently graduated, we've got just the thing you need to navigate higher education in this crazy world that we are currently living in. Unbound is a Christian project-based education company that specializes in equipping students in high school and beyond with the skills, experience, network, and education they need to live and work effectively in the real world. Whether you know exactly what you want to do with your future or you're unsure, you should check out the Ascend program by Unbound. They provide students 16 years old and up with the hands-on experience, coaching, flexible college courses, and Christian leadership training they need to use their education in the real world. But you don't have to take our word for it because we have Briley here, a first-year Ascend student, to tell you why she chose Ascend. It was the first time in my life that I think I said, you know what, God, I understand the way that you designed me and I'm going to stop fighting that. It became really, really exciting because suddenly, biting off a, a huge, you know, life, vision, mission, project, felt totally doable. <laughs> Enrollment in Ascend has been extended through the end of September, so book a call with the Unbound Admissions team today. For more information on how to truly use your education in the real world and to book that call, visit beunbound.us slash blimeycow. These guys and girls are friends of ours and uh, they just, they do really good work. So if you're interested in going to college, but you wanna do it a little bit differently and get more out of it, then go to beunbound.us slash blimey cow. All right, let's, we gotta show me this one. When you're late for your shift at Chick-fil-A, but the gas station clerk asked you why you wear a cross necklace. Yeah, I've got time. <laughs> Christian guys, when their crush says they see them as a brother in Christ. I just wanna be friends, plus a little extra. Also, I love you. <laughs> Nobody, Ikea, allow us to introduce ourselves. <laughs> Funny, they got me. They got you good. It is not good for man to be alone. Me. The, look, I think that this is one of the most hilarious pictures that exists, <laughs> but it's, it, even though it was a joke, it's still sad that it exists. It's sad that this guy came up with this. How much time he took to get this stupid picture. <laughs> that is hilarious. This is this is a little bit of a thinker. I want you to think through this one. He's saying that all of this combined equals emptiness. That's what I took away from it. That's what you take away from it? No, uh... ESPN plus G plus TV plus kids plus Disney plus who plus equals emptiness. An empty void in your heart. <laughs> The joke is just they all have a plus in the title. So it's like you're adding them all up. What do you get? And then maybe maybe the philosophical point you were making there at the end. Emptiness. <laughs> Thank you for changing my life. Amanda, I'm a children's book and you're turning 35 tomorrow. <laughs> I like how the book is talking. What is she holding? <laughs> is this some water or something? T ter 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 Turbimate? It must be some kind of drink that hipsters like. Oh. I don't know. The Bible says to think about whatever is pure and lovely. So I've been thinking about you all day. What I think I look like in Bible study, what I'm actually like in Bible study. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here Pumpkin we go. Pumpkin Spice Communion, <laughs> fall edition. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Our homeschooling story, I can't read. <laughs> you know, I was having a nice day today, but these memes really made me have an even better day. But How about you? Well, did my depressing her heretical thoughts and th th oh, my no. comments. Oh no, no, that you? never depresses me. Okay. I'll be okay. Every, all day, every day. <laughs> all day, every day. I hope you'll be okay. <laughs> Look, it's a great thought. We'll see. Firstborn children, why were they messed up? Adam and Eve, where'd they, what happened to them? You know? What did he, what, what it's, did he it's, wrong? it's tough raising kids. It's tough. It's tough raising That's kids. What we Maybe we should just leave it at that, okay? <laughs> it's a question. And we've asked it. <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> Tell us your answer. Hey, maybe we'll actually get some comments on a Christian meme video. People just watch the, yeah. watch these and they don't comment. It's like our least commented show. Comment down below. Explain to us and to, not just you us. Know what? I don't explain to I every don't person <laughs> down below your longest, your longest, your longest thought. hottest take on why. Okay, and we will read every single you one of them. This. You gotta regret it. Don't do it, guys. It's gonna be worse than. Is it gonna All be a the big reformed fight? memes. Is it gonna be a brawl? It, uh, no. I, yes. I don't know. 